Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Williamson from cgcookie.com and today I want to give you a demo of the Polystrips retopology tool. So Polystrips is a tool that allows you to quickly and easily lay down the key face loops for more complicated forms, such as a human face, by using a hand-drawn stroke approach. So the goal here is just to lay down and kind of map out your key topology to then be filled in later. So let me just give you a quick demo. And so with the Polystrips add-on activated, I'm just going to go right over here to the 3D view toolbar with an object selected in the retopology tab and just click the Polystrips button. This is then going to put me into draw mode such that I can now draw across my model using a brush just like texture painting or sculpting to then generate these really nice clean strips of polygons. These strips are then generated based on a Bezier spline and I can actually modify them after the fact. So here you'll see I have a single strip. I can right click on it to select it, and at which point you can then see the handles that are then driving the shape of my curve. I can grab one of the endpoints of those handles and I can just move it around and have it automatically recalculate the number of polygons to put in the strip. I can then rotate that handle, or I can scale the handle to change the density of the polygons, or if I want, I can grab just the, just the handle itself and I can move that around as well. Or, since you know just a single strip isn't going to be that all that effective, I can also draw in another strip with automatic end-to-end -end snapping. Now, I've got more than just end-to-end -end snapping. I can also do this kind of end-to-end -end snapping. There we go. So now I can bring, start bringing these up here towards the, the forehead. I could go ahead and add in another strip along here around the base of the eyes. And then why don't we add in one more right there. Maybe we'll scale this one down just a bit. We'll bring this over. We could go ahead and connect these, bring that down. We can take this over here. And this is already starting to give us a very good base for what we want within our topology. So with Polystrips, the whole goal of the tool is to allow you to very quickly and painlessly map out the key forms of your topology. You know, because one of the most time consuming parts of the retopology process is just figuring out what your flow should be like. So this tool allows you to not have to worry about that flow nearly so much because you can just draw it in naturally with the key forms and then go back in and fill in the gaps later using any number of simple tools. So then I can go ahead and add in these ones. I can adjust these. Maybe I'll switch over here. Notice that we've got full navigation controls. So even though we're in a modal operator, we can still navigate around the viewport no problem using any of the number pad keys, the mouse, the mouse wheel, trackpad, you name it. We've got the ability to snap loops from end to end, but we also have the ability to, say, adjust the density or to cut in a new loop. So for example, if I wanted to bring in a stroke right here, right now I don't have an endpoint for this. So I could go ahead and just draw it across and it will do its best to automatically detect that. Sometimes it doesn't quite work in this case. So we have the ability to convert a junction type such that we can you know, adapt it to fit our needs a little better. Or if we have a junction that we really don't need anymore, we could either just move that around noting that the density is of course automatically adjusted such that you don't have to worry about that. But there are some scenarios where you may want to adjust the density. So for example, within this area, maybe I know exactly how many loops I have in here, but I would like larger polygons, but because of that scale, it then affects this. Well, then we can simply select a loop and using either control mouse wheel, command or mouse wheel if you're on a Mac, you can just adjust the density very, very quickly. From there, I could go ahead and, you know, draw in another loop here. If I know that I want an endpoint right here and I would like to just merge these together, I could just hover over this, press the K key, and I have a knife cut, at which point I could grab this handle, hover over this one, and just press M, and I can merge those two together. So we've worked really hard to ensure that there is a large number of tools to really let you do what you need to do when generating a mesh flow like this. Once you've got your flow like you want it, you can just hit enter, that will generate the mesh, which point you can hop right into edit mode. And if you decide you wanna add in a few more loops, no problem, just go ahead and click Polystrips again. It will add it into the existing mesh. And you can just draw like this, like this, and like this. And very, very quickly, we have precisely what we need. Now, there are a few things that you may notice that 
can be a little tricky, such as getting the exact density count can of course be tricky sometimes. So we've put in a few little helper things, like it may be difficult to see in the video, but we have a small number that indicates the number of segments in the selected strip. So in this one right here, I can see that I've got seven. And in this one down here, I have six. So I might wanna go ahead and increase this one to seven, just so that the top and bottom match. Or for example, I might go over here and see like, you know, I could add in a strip like this, and then I could add in a strip like this, just as a simple example. And I can see that this one has eight, and this one has eight. So those two actually line up perfectly, and such that if I were to then generate these, I could then bridge these two edge loops perfectly without having to worry about it. So there's a few things like that that we've tried to do to really make it easy to, to accelerate your workflow when generating the edge flow for your retopology. There's a lot of additional features that are still coming, such as automatic symmetry support, the ability to fill in holes with patches, and a variety of other things. So that's Polystrips. I hope you like it, and let us know what you think.